Good evening everyone, Late Night Mega here, and tonight we're going to try another Dominaria United Premier Draft. Still want to do, like, maybe two to three more drafts. Still want to collect more of this set uh, before the upcoming pack opening video. There's been a lot of drafts that just have not gone well, and I haven't even like, uploaded them or anything. Speaking of not going well, we're starting with a, uh, not very exciting rare. Uh, but what is exciting here? We have a Rona's Vortex. Sprouting Goblin is pretty decent as well, but I don't think I want that to be my first pick. I'll take the Vortex. Just a solid removal spell. How many of those do I even have? Oh, I only have two of them. Yeah, it's definitely the best card in the pack. Maybe we'll get back the Barricade or Vivisector. Would be what I hope for. Or take up the shield, maybe. But I have had a good time with Blue Flag. <laughs> Speaking of... Why does it seem like all I all I find are like the crap rares? Uh, I'm gonna take the Vohar here. Goes with our first pick, and this is otherwise a pretty underwhelming pack. I mean, there's the Codex here if we wanted to try and go Domain. I don't think I want to do that. An uncommon was taken, so no real signal. We'll take the Vohar. Okay, we have Balmor, we have Terror, we have Tribute, and we have Essence Scatter. All four very good cards. Uh, the pick is definitely going to be one of those. And at this point, I think it's either going to be the Tribute or the Terror. I think it's going to be the Terror. Maybe we just build another blue-black control. Uh, which I would be more than happy to play. Passing Balmore. There's a fine shaper prodigy that's okay. Another take up the shield, which is a pretty decent trick. But uh, uh, the blue decks, well, I've been losing with pretty much everything. Uh, but when I have been winning, it's generally been with a blue deck. And there's a pretty easy Phyrexian Rager, another kind of boopy rare, which I don't have any of. But uh, not going to pick that here over the Rager. It is all the Rages. Soaring Drake, which is also okay. Some okay white cards as well. Uh, but no reason to deviate from the blue-black sort of plan we've got going on here. Now, oh, Raf. Raf is pretty good. But I don't think it's a reason to abandon all of this. I'm not seeing, like, any lands. Maybe they're not getting opened, but, um... Yeah, or maybe everybody else is just fighting over the domain lands. That's what I'm guessing. I think I would, I would personally rather be, like, blue-black or blue-red. Just get a solid sort of blue deck, or even blue-white. But, uh, I'm gonna take the geyser here because it fits with what we're doing. I'll take a RAF. And we'll see if we go that route. I mean, the other options here are like Timely Interference, which is an okay card. Uh, but I don't think it's one we necessarily need. Bone Splinters, not really for blue-black. Shadow Prophecy is okay, but we could find, like, Phyrexian Espionage would be more ideal. I'll take the Wrath in case we do end up going blue-white. Now here's a pick. There's Citizen's Arrest or Haunting Figment. I do like Haunting Figment. Citizen's Arrest... 
doesn't really go with the terror, doesn't really go with the wrath. It is still solid removal. Uh, we'll take it, we'll take it. Just take the best cards in the pack here. All right, now we have a Protect the Negotiators or a Sky Knight. I think it's gonna be the Sky Knight. Black doesn't seem to really be open past the first couple picks we had. Oh, this was our original pack. We were hoping to get back a uh, Barricade. Either the Barricade or the Vivisector. We got the Barricade. Now we have Academy Wall. I could take 20 gems. Could take Herbalist if we end up going blue-white, which we seem to be a little bit more on the blue-white side right now. Oh my. Essence Scatter and take up the shield. I think that wasn't this the other pack with Raph, or is that the was that the next pack? We saw like two Raphs in a row. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna come back. I'll take the Soaring Drake now. Still not fully sure what we're gonna be. We're definitely not gonna be any sort of domain, because we did not see any lands. Uh, so we're somewhere within the Esper color range. And I think here I'll take the Relic of Legends. Hopefully we won't have to play that. Clockwork Drawbridge. Okay. And we get an Evolved Sleeper. The Sleeper hit. Which I think that's going to be the pick here. We could still very much be blue-black. Because it's either that or it's going to be like Haunting Figment or Take Up the Shield or Essence Scatter. But I'm going to take the Sleeper hit. Maybe Essence Scatter or the Figment come back to us. Alright, so there's a Soul Tender or there's a Cavalier. Or I could also take the black white land. That could be a reasonable option regardless of what we do. I think I'll take the cavalier. Because I feel like we're leaning more. I don't know if we're leaning more white black or blue black. It's hard to say. We'll see what's open in this direction. Again, maybe we just pick up a bunch of blue cards in this direction, and then we figure it out later. Uh, who else is drafting here? Uh, there's so many people. Undefeated Rehab? There's so many different people on Arena, it's hard to... Very little likelihood I would know somebody. Alright, we have a Micromancer, which can fetch the Vortex. Beyond that, we have a Negate, which we could probably pick up on the wheel. Not a whole lot else for us in this particular pack, but... I'll take the Micromancer. Destroy Evil Haunting Figment. I don't want to be without removal. 
that is for sure. I think I'm going to take the Destroy Evil. We're not getting, like... I'm not seeing any good, like, black removal, and that's kind of why we may not be black here. I could even... Yeah, I don't think we can splash for that. That kind of wants a lot of black. But I have two removal pieces in blue-white. I do have the Rona's Vortex, but that's what we first picked. And I can still even play the Vortex. Ooh. Temporary Lockdown. Exile each non-land permanent mana value two or less. Grab that, or I could grab Take Up the Shield, which goes with... some of our theme a little bit better. Yeah, I think I'll grab the take up the shield here. Another Micromancer. A shore up and a negate. I almost think the first shore up is a little bit more important here, but oh, that's really hard to say. There's also the Sunlit Marsh. Hey, here's mana fixing. It's also an impulse. Which wouldn't be bad either. I'm gonna take the fixing. Yeah, we haven't seen any black removal this whole draft, so I think blue-white is where we're supposed to be. And grab the Haunting Figment. I do enjoy those. There's a, another Take Up the Shield, another Herbalist. Yeah, we do have one Herbalist. Our deck is kind of shaping up. I don't think we're playing the Pixie Illusionist. Oh, we did get Negate back. Yeah, there's also the Sleeper. I don't know that we really need the Sleeper hit. I think I'd be fine taking a Negate. Soul Tender. I'm going to grab a Timely Interference here. So we have a second negate. I don't think we're running two of those. Xur that we do not need to play. Uh, but we also have a Runic Shot here, which is a great Micromancer target. There's also a Frost Fist Strider that I'd love to have, but... I think since we have two Micromancers, we need to prioritize some Micromancer targets. Unfortunately, and I already have, I don't need to Mythic Draft this anymore because I already have a set of those. It's one of the Mythics that I've seen a lot of. Ooh, the Knight of Dawn's Light, that's a good two drop. There's a Talarian Terror number two here. Do I take the two drop or Terror number two? We have... Eight instants and sorceries right now. I'm going to take the two drop. I think good two drops... The, the uncommon two drops kind of need to be prioritized. Alright, there's the reinforcements, but there's also a Talus Lookout here, which I am a big fan of the Lookout. So I think that is going to be my pick. Reinforcements wouldn't be bad either. Ooh, another Runic Shot. Another Talarian Geyser. Both of those very strong. I 
Man, I would love another geyser. But I'm going to take the runic shot here. Just because it is something I can... I have 23 already. Do I need the Mesa Cavalier? Not the biggest fan of the Cavalier. I think I'll take the... Uh... Phasing of Zolfir is probably not very good, but... Alright, yeah, here's kind of more of what we want. Captain's Call, another Cavalier. I think this is just in... I don't want to say it's an easy Captain's Call, because we also have Essence Scatter here and a Cavalier, but I'm going to take the Captain's Call. We'll get rid of this Relic. Uh, there's another and scatter that I would enjoy. There's a golden Argosy. Do I have... I've got three of those. I mean, there's some synergy with the... our one Cavalier and, and our one other thing. I mean, I'm just going to take the Essence Scatter. Essence Scatter number two makes our Rona's Vortex a bit better if we do end up uh, keeping that in the deck. That is a late Talarian Terror, and that is entirely the pick. There's nothing else in this pack comes close. Uh, all right, we have a pretty easy impulse here. And we didn't get any stall for times. We, we saw one in the first pack, but we weren't really sure if we were white at that point. We'll have a few cuts to make. <laughs> the other terror wield. Oh my gosh. Uh, phalanx that we're probably not going to play. Vanguard, we're probably not going to... We're not super token-y. I mean, we are a little bit, but we don't have any, like, heroic charges. Yeah, we're kind of much more about... Uh, we're much more about the Sky Knight, maybe the Wrath a bit, and then, like, a spell deck. We don't have a good way of kicking the Rona's Vortex, which is... Kind of the main issue. I could run like a one of swamp. Warning figment. How many cuts? We got to make four cuts. I think we can cut the Vanguard pretty easily. As well, we have a little bit of tokeny stuff, but we more want to focus on like getting spells for for these guys and the Micromancers. Timely interference is a Fine playable card. We didn't get to shore up either, because I picked sh I picked the second Micromancer over over the. Uh... If we can't kick this, I don't think it's very good. Yeah, 
and I would rather just have a solid two color deck and maybe maybe even at that point I don't need two micromancers And then we need to make one more cut. Sorry for the long part. I'm just I'm just trying to think here. Because I'm not fully sure what we should cut. Uh I'm thinking Soaring Drake is probably the most unimpressive, uninspiring type of card. I think it is reasonable to keep around as well. We have one, two, three. Four two drop creatures. I'm also thinking like either negate or one of the essence scatters. I feel like we have a lot of removal here between we've got the citizens arrest, destroy evil, two runic shots. Uh, maybe we don't need two essence scatters. We'll keep a negate since we don't have a shore up. It can kind of help maybe fill, fill that sort of a void. Uh, I like it. We have an Adakar Wastes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to play... 17 lands because we have the raf we could like tap two creatures and get something we have three terrors yeah this this looks good uh although that should not be our star card we'll, we'll let it be the sky knight and right, let's get into the games and see how we do with blue white now i have had a couple blue white decks before I'm not sure if those made it to on camera or not. Well, that seems reasonable. We have our two drop knight, four drop lookout, two drop raf. Uh, let's start with our knight. Knight is a little bit more aggressive. All right, opponent appears to be on some sort of domain. Uh, let's attack in. This could be an essence scatter. Yeah. And then there goes our Wrath. Well, here comes our Sky Knight. Would like to find some instants and sorceries. We're already down to two cards in hand, and opponent still has, like, tons of stuff. Or I just find more lands. Because I have literally nothing else going on. May as well smack our opponent for five. Of 
Of course, we're just kind of at the mercy of whatever okay, our opponent has. Citizen's Arrest. That doesn't trigger the Sky Knight. This is like the saddest Talarian Terror ever, casting it for full price. There's a Lookout. And a Soaring Drake, okay. I could arrest the Lookout here. Which I think that is the best thing to arrest. Because then the Sky Knight can come in. Terror would just end up trading with the Strider. So I'd rather not do that right now. Almost forcing a, uh, yeah. So that gave us like a two for one. They're, they don't have an answer to the Sky Knight. The TNT... Oh, I read that as Masked Disaster, not Maked. TNT Maked Disaster. No blocks. Because if I draw an answer to the Terror, I have plenty of them. I'd also, alternatively, just draw another Terror. Alright, let's attack. Another 7 mana Terror. I have found none of the instants and sorceries, all of the creatures, but hey, it's been kind of working out. Not going to block this. Opponent has two cards, Urborg Repossession, bringing back Terror, and can you cast both? You can't cast both. So the Soaring Drake is going to block the thing next turn. I find more creatures. Another Terror. And a Soaring Drake. Timely Interference. Well, it is about time. Um... Kind of an issue, though. And that's got to be blocked. I don't like... I was going to trade with something. I'll have two blockers. Frost Fist Strider. Keeping that thing tapped. Okay. Attack me with both. I dare you. Only attacking with one, huh? Yep. Uh, I'll pay for it. I don't think we need to block this, because I can swing in with all three and do one. All right. Okay, just out of curiosity, how many artifact or er, artifacts? We have ten instance and sorceries and one enchantment. We just could not find them. But I guess if we're not going to find them, let's make sure we get our terrors to find our... Uh, get our lands and our terrors, right?
Uh, we also have take up the shield as a way to protect our stuff, uh, potentially, from removal. Difra. Should I keep this hand? Opponent takes a mulligan. I'm going to keep. I, I still don't like taking mulligans. We have lands. This stuff can get... I mean, I, I could cast Timely Interference if I had to. We'll have Micromancer. Uh, we'll lead off with the Wastes. Raph. Don't like seeing Raph. Raph just kind of dodges our destroy evil right now. Now we got to keep the timely interference. We have so many draws that would be decent here. Opponent is probably five color. Just play like I uh, play like the four four. That's not a four four. This is gonna be one of those matches where we have destroy evil and our opponent just never has a target for it. I should probably just play the Timely Interference. We take a damage for doing it, but... Nothing, huh? Okay. And now I can play Captain's Call. Or I can play Micromancer... I'm in the mood for Captain's Call right now. Just get three bodies on the board, maybe help us. Yeah, because if you want to infusion one of them, okay, you'll draw a card. Juniper Order Root Weaver, please pump up your Raph. That's not pumping up Raph. <laughs> Everything just staying under four toughness. Yeah, please tap your Raph. I don't tap your Raph then. Impulse. What would I even be impulsing for, though? I guess we'll play the Micromancer. Grab one of our runic shots. Now our opponent knows we have it. I just don't want him having more instants and sorceries. Cuz 
because then that's like extra card draw off of the wrath. Uh, oh, yeah, I have no attacks, by the way. And there's more card draw off of the wrath. I really would have liked a uh, island. Island would have been the perfect draw, because then I could have kept the timely interference up to, like, negate the bite down. Yeah, I kept a hand that didn't do much out of the gate. Also, there's totally just pumping with Raph and attacking. And that gives the team vigilance, too. So I take six. If there's a pump, I take nine. Okay. Hey, look. Some, hey, look. We have everything we need. Okay. Uh, I don't need to kick this. Kill Raph. Kill Mossbeard Ancient. Just keep killing things. Ah, uh, no attacks. May have to take up the shield to trade with the... I'm just taking a lot of damage here, that's all. All right. Opponent's at 25, we're at 8. We have a semi-stable board. I kind of want to have terror with the... I guess I don't need the timely interference, do I? I'm just going to play the terror. Oh, our opponent's hand is empty. So let's just chill here for a moment. I can start attacking with the terror. Timely interference is totally going to go after the... Uh, I want to highlight it. All right, cool. A land. Opponent doesn't want to do anything. I want to impulse. I know this is going to cost me a life. Oh my. This is like a lot of stuff I kind of want. Um, a lot of stuff's not getting tapped right now, so let's take the Sky Knight Raph. That is definitely what I want. Go attacking. We all predicted this block. And I'm going to tap. I'm going to tap the raft too. And we get an herbalist. Okay. And an island. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, play another terror and play an herbalist. All right, opponent is in massive trouble now. We have pretty well stabilized at 
five life. It's okay. It is okay. Because I can just activate Raph. And a lot of this stuff can go in. Yep, that's fine. I'm fine with those trades. Kind of would have preferred the Herbalist to be tapped. I, I could have activated it in combat, I guess, so I could have gained the life, but... If opponent wants to trade off their whole board here and leave me with a Terror, a Raph, and a token, I am fine with that. I have no tricks. Just, this is happening. Yeah, this is great. No cards in hand, and I have this board. Yeah, I'll take this. And I can hold the Sky Knight and Soaring Drake back in my hand. Battle him. Okay, that's annoying, but... Uh, there's no double red. There could be, like, drag to the bottom. So I guess I'm going to semi-play around that. All right, cool. So, yeah, that was another instance of, you know, I've been in that position so many times before where it's like, well, if you don't block all that stuff I send in, you're going to lose. And if you do block and you trade off your board and only trade off half of mine and I still am left with that stuff, you're still going to lose. And that was, that was just the situation our opponent was facing. Opponent also mulliganed on the play. And we kept a hand we probably shouldn't have. Ergo Proxy. Well, we can keep this. We have removal spells this time. Is that a sleeper hit? That's not a sleeper hit. It makes me sad that's not... Oh, I could have actually killed that right away. Might be better to just... I mean, it's eventually going to be able to come back, but I don't want to just take tons of damage from it. An opponent didn't have a two drop. Those are good cards. I need the second island for our Talus Lookout. Not going to Citizens Arrest that. All right, cool. Get this lookout going. Opponent might just kill it. Yep. Uh, we're going to take the captain's call here. Okay, that worm is an issue. So I guess let's deal with that. Oh, we have all three of our terrors. Yeah, our hand is kind of stacked. We just have to not die before then. Opponent is helping with that. I guess we just play Captain's Call here. Make the Terrors a bit cheaper. Shadow Prophecy. That's cool. I'll trade two tokens for the Rager. This isn't really a token-y deck. It's just... It's a blue-white deck that happens to have a Captain's Call in it. Barricade. All right, well, that's 
I don't want to play this without being able to take up the shield, so... Then again, I have three of them. If it survives, we're just, like, good. Yeah, alright, I'm game. No attacks. Is our terror dead? Oh, it is not dead. Terror's not dead. Terror's not dead. Ooh. Telerian Geyser. Can't really use that while the barricade is sitting there, so let's go attacking. Because that is a thing we can do now. Nothing, huh? Okay. Okay. Play another terror. Terrors for days. I want the erg to not exist. I want a lot of things to not exist over there. Attacking with the vivisector. And the rager. The amount of trust I have for this attack is like zero, so let's get the vivisector out of here. You want to use a combat trick to save it, or you want to sack it to your barricade, whichever one you want to do. Colossal growth, okay. Yep, that's fine. That's not as fine. But, I can bounce a thing now. Bounce a thing, gain three life, and play another thing. Yeah, I like that. Um, could also just see if they want to block anything first. There's no barricade activation here. That's the uh, best part. I'm actually going to bounce the erg. So that there's no, like, looking at the top card of his deck right away. Oh, yeah, you can sack a land. Gain two life, sure. You can do that. Essence scatter. Never mind, I'm going to counter that thing on the way back down. Yeah, you don't need that. Make our other terror cheaper. Can't do anything about this, so we take uh, four here. All right, the dust has settled. We are up quite a bit here. And I'm going to go ahead and play the knight. And we have take up the shield up. Sitting in a, a very good position here. Like, they can get some sacks and... Okay. I guess, I guess he didn't even want to see if he could, like, sack and scry his way out of that. Well, who knew? Triple Terror was good. Uh, this is... I think this is the most successful blue-white deck I've had. Though I've had other blue-white decks that look similar. You know the deal. It's it's Dominaria United. N... N... 2. Why do I have four islands in my hand? We kept a risky hand earlier and almost lost. I'm going to mulligan. Okay, this hand I'm going to keep. I actually think I get rid of planes because I can cast... 
everything except the raft, and I need we can cast raft. We have everything we want. Up against green blue, huh? I would normally say let's get our knight out first, but let's get our raff out first. Because I don't want that eating a uh, essence scatter. Totally an essence scatter turn. I don't want our one other creature getting essence scattered, so let's just pass. I'm not in a rush. Joint exploration. That's fine. Okay, what I want my opponent to play here is a creature with toughness 4 or greater. I mean, that's not a creature with toughness 4 or greater. Come on. Okay, play something else. That's not playing something else. You totally have Essence Scatter. I don't want to run my my only other okay tortoise. We have to take up the shield. I'd have to play my trick first, so I rather wouldn't. Yeah, I'll even let you attack. A 2-5, huh? Uh, well, we'll kill that. Impulse. It has word too. That's fine. I don't want to play the. I still want to run anything into the. Maybe I'll run the knight into the thing now. Not going to play Impulse when we know what our top card is and we know we want to draw it. Let's see if this resolves. Okay. Yeah, we, we knew Essence Scatter was going to be there. Uh, let's do this. Captain's Call or another Terror? I mean, we've been winning with Terrors. We may as well continue to win with Terrors. Uh, do I attack here? I think so. Doesn't want to trade, take up the shield for the lookout. That's fine. So now I can lose to that. Sphinx of the Clear Skies, quite a strong mythic. Ouch. And now, well, I mean, they're going to be in two separate piles, so. I 
The bad part about this is if he takes bite down. Okay, he didn't take bite down. Three, eight. Citizens arrest, but that cost two. That's ward two, though. Eight plus five is thirteen. I gain eleven. That still isn't enough. I think I have to take out the lookout and go in with the terror. Oh, I don't like that idea either. I think we have to take up the shield to terror for sure. Yeah, regardless of what we do, we gotta do that. Problem is that ward two. Yeah, so I have to citizens arrest the lookout. I mean, it could have been the Pixie Illusionist as well, but... That way, that's the only way I could have survived another turn. So I'm kind of having issues with Flyer. Why did I think I was going to get to draw there? Yeah. Another lookout. Gee, I wonder what pile he's going to take. Blue-green Flyers is just... It is. It's just a blue-green Flyers. Um... Well, I could bounce a thing. But I can't get the win this turn. Okay, so I gain three. And I'm still dead to all this stuff. Five, six. So I have to bounce the Sphinx. Could I perhaps bounce with... We better bounce with Kicker, because I need to gain life. Bay. Can't do that. Cavalier. Three, six, seven. I still take lethal in the air. Yeah, it, it didn't matter. There's just too many too many fly. I mean, I guess there's a chance he doesn't see he has lethal in the air. Are you going to remove my wrap? Okay. You can, are you going to stall for time? And just have lethal... Okay. Lethal five different ways. Yeah, there you go. Too many flyers. And not having an answer to that sphinx right away. Really hurt. Not really sure how we could have played that differently. Maybe not been so quick to remove the tortoise or hexbane turtle, whatever whatever it was. But who could predict a mythic five five flying ward two coming?
All right, Weirth is our next opponent. Well, we have an Essence Scatter, so that's fine. Could also pop off the Timely early if we need to. Could use another blue source, though. Sprouting Goblin for our opponent. Okay. Impulse and Essence Scatter. Yeah, I'm just going to take the two here. Am I really going to... I don't know. I kind of like the captain's call here. Oh, there's our second blue source. I might timely one of these attacks. An essence scatter, whatever the creature is this turn. It'll be a four mana creature or three mana creature and you have no land. Either way, we're going to discard a three mana creature. Okay, sure. I'm just going to look for other things to do here. Sky Knight. It's a good card. Triple blue up. I f feel like we should play the captain's call. And I don't mind trading two tokens for one of those guys. I like to trade for the picker, but he's insistent on using it. Haunting Figment. I'm just going to play the Figment. I'm not in a rush. I want to keep the Essence Scatter open. I don't, I don't know what our opponent is doing. And I also want to play around their Essence Scatter. Because I don't want these guys getting Essence Scattered. Again, I'm still open for trading here. Discard the Outrider. There's a Greenland. And there's a 4-4 four four that can just go away. And my figment is unblockable. Take that, opponent. I feel like I just look out and herbalist here. After we attack. Okay. Most efficient plays. Plus, we don't have any uh, spells right now for the Sky Knight anyways. Alright, now the game begins. Amplifier. Gonna amplify the situation here. Okay. It's fine. Cavalier. Well, I can cast both of these, right? Yeah. Well, let's go attacking, because I don't care what trades here. Take up the shield. I like that. Yep. I'll trade. Uh, I'll replay this. Play Cavalier, get a token. We have a really wide board. The uh, fire thing, a temporal firestorm could be a problem. What else could be a problem here? Mossbeard Ancient? 
Forest Mossbird Ancient? That would be kind of annoying. Micromancer is kind of annoying. Nothing to get. Okay. I guess maybe not as annoying. Uh... I just play the Sky Knight. We'll go for it. Okay, there's the Essence Scatter. That was going to happen at some point. Okay, combat time. That's going to combat. That's going to combat. That's going to combat. Yeah, I'm up for trades. Well, this isn't really going to trade. Now our Haunting Figment is a 3-2. Still have a bunch of tokens. We still have three Terrors in the deck as well. Sacking in land to draw a card. That's that's a good sign. The sign our opponent doesn't have much to do. Uh, so I'm curious what cards are in hand. Are you just going to kill everything and make it all 2-2s? Two no? Okay. You're going to phase my stuff? You're going to phase my look. Okay. The phasing of Zalfir. Okay. Uh, we have a geyser. I don't want them to search for another land. Um, I guess I just attack. Shore up. Okay. I mean, that's fine. You're going to kill my tokens and turn them into tutus? Because that's what that's going to do. Inscribe tablet. Lookout prodigy. Steel crusher. Okay, but you had to grab a land because it was tablet time. Uh, tag for three. Yeah, I'll hold this in my hand. I don't know why. Okay, so my 1-1s one got traded up into two twos. That is why this card is probably not great. Oh, hey, look, we have Raph. Oh, hey, look, we don't need him. <laughs> All right, four wins. Okay, so four wins makes this, like... No, I had a couple traditional drafts where I went 3-0 early on. Uh, but in terms of premier drafts, I think I had like one or two. I had, I had two, I think, that were five wins. Maybe three. If we're not counting the alchemy uh, drafts, we'll keep this. I mean, no two drop, but we have plenty of things to do coming up. Up against white red and a missionary. I'd prefer if he just didn't have a missionary. I'll just make them recast it. Uh, that sounds good enough to me. Found another island. That's cool. 
So now we can play our lookout. Then we can like play our Drake or Citizen's Arrest and have our... Uh... I don't like red being open there. If this dies, okay, it doesn't die to Essence Infusion. Do I block this is the question. I feel like I should. My card's a problem. Okay, well, I don't have to make a choice. Uh, the choice has been made for me. Get rid of this. Attack for three. Be at 19, he'll be at 18. And we won't attack. I will offer the trade. Kind of an awkward stare down. Why well, can't Essence scatter that? So, okay. Well, I guess I can start making some sort of progress here. Haven't even seen our negate yet, have we? I'd really like it in this matchup. Just to stop the uh, heroic charge. Tap all your lands and cast a creature. That doesn't sound like Boros. I need more to do than just lands, though. One terror, or one thing, so our terrors would be six mana? All right, I'll get rid of that. Lightning strike my okay. I think I'm gonna have to keep the lookout back to block now, because I I can't. This is not a race I can win here. Herbalist, go and herbalize things. Yeah, I gotta keep this back to block. But I know our opponent's not interested in trading Missionary for Lookout, because there were a couple of turns where that could have happened. And didn't. Is this what I think it is? Now let's take up the shield. Uh, I take the runic shot, because it actually does something. Danitha! First strike, vigilance, lifelink. I can't beat that. Come on. Neither of those do anything. So this is a situation where we just sit here and lose to our opponent's stuff. Yep, that's game.
That was just an instance of not... I don't know. That missionary sat out there for so long, and then we just... We just flooded out. Throw fest. Now, there's some things I'd like to throw right now. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this. Well, Pollen Puff will play with the uh, thing. Hey, we have the same pet going on. I need to draw, like, not all land. Not all lands. Are you going to kill my drake? You're not going to kill my drake. Okay. Don't kill my thing. It just... That's reasonable. Can I stop drawing all... I've drawn all lands this... Whole gate. Three draws, all three lands. Tells me, well, you know what? I can do the same thing that you can do. Yeah, I'm going to kick it. Oh, hey, look, I found my lookout. Oh, yeah, runic shot. I can kill my own soaring drake. Silly game. Frost Fist Strider. I don't know that I want to do the take up the shield here. Because that could be met with some other... Uh, instant speed removal, and then we're kind of in trouble. So I'm just going to take four here. And I can get the Frost Fist Strider with our Runic Shot. Or Destroy Evil, you know, any of that. Amplifier. Or this could be happening. I do kind of need the Scry. But I kind of need to replay the lookout and runic shot the thing. Ooh, Micromancer. That can get another uh, runic shot. I would love the scry too, but then I'm not casting anything else this turn, and that seems bad. Because we're kind of having a bit of a tempo game here. I'll go ahead with an attack. So I don't have take up the shield active right now, but that's okay. And, and the other my uh, the other runic shot we get from the micromancer that can always be used to scry. Okay, there's that lookout. And we're killing my. My lookout. Uh, I'm going to take the creature. Do I trade Drake for lookout? Maybe I should see if things resolve first. Okay, it didn't seem like there was a stop there, so... This is a horrible idea. Because if he gets an Essence Scatter... I could take up the shield here, and then... Not... If he gets Essence Scatter... I 
I'm going to be so mad if this gets a Ness and Scatter. I should have played the Micromancer while I knew it was good. There goes a Voda. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm going to find the Runic Shot. Interesting that we're both still at 16 health. I have a little bit more stuff on the board. Jaya in Balmore. Wonderful. Just... Fabulous. We do have to take up the shield here. Problem is nothing's tapped and nothing has four toughness. It's like the eternal problem we have with this guard. Are you just trading your bell more? I'm down with that. Shore up. So that's going to save the bell more. Actually. Oh, that's going to give that hex proof. So, yeah, I can't destroy evil it. Um, I just got to do it like this. Going to have an issue dealing with Jaya now. Really going to have an issue dealing with Jaya now. I mean, I could... I think I need to runic shot this thing. It doesn't feel good, but I need to make sure we get something going here. Citizen's Arrest. Cool. Offering a trade of token for token. Although if our opponent plays something that makes me sack a creature, I'm going to lose it. Especially if it's like a... Uh, if he goes like Swamp Liliana. I kind of want him to chump block with the token. 
But I still couldn't even kill Jaya. Let's just get rid of Jaya. Do not have a negate. Airtie resurrected. Yeah, that's pretty much just as bad. I don't know how we can beat this. The longer Jaya is on the field, the worse it kind of is for us. How come I never saw my negate? We didn't take it out of the deck. No, because I I took out one of the essence scatters. And so we had essence scatter and negate. And of course he got something good off that impulse. Yeah, just keep making monks when when I'm stuck on one creature. What does this emblem do? Because that's clearly going to happen. Or you cast a red instant or sorcery spell. Copy it twice. Oh yeah, that's wonderful. I mean, this timely interference isn't going to mean much here. Might as well just gain a life off of it. Oh, hey, something I can destroy evil. Kill that. I would just let it hit Jaya. I mean, I, I can't do anything about when I'm stuck on one creature. This'll, how many lands? I have 11 lands out of 24 cards. Okay. We've gone through a lot of cards. A Talarian Terror. You're slightly late to the party. Though, very much appreciate. Isn't this our first Terror? Yeah. How oh, wonderful. Rona's Vortex. Being stuck top decking against this board state is just awful. It doesn't seem like there's much we're going to be able to do here. I mean, like, if I had my Sky Knight out and I, I was able to create an army of tokens, I could handle this, but... We're at least multiple turns off before we even start to imagine doing that. What board state is better? The side with just a Talarian Terror or a Talarian Terror 
tokens, air tie, and a planeswalker. Could even just minus two and kill this by attacking with a monk. I guess the Jaya emblem isn't super great here. I mean, clearly our opponent's heavy red. I haven't seen a lightning strike yet. Like, triple lightning strike would be really bad. Oh, you can cast one of those. Oh, that was cool. We're still in, obviously, massive trouble. I needed that when he cast that air tie. I don't even know that I can attack here. That's how bad this is. I mean, I guess the good news is there's only six lands, six lands, so I have eight non -land. no, wait. Oh, no, that's not, no. You don't need that. You've had enough, opponent. I'm cutting you off. So there's five lands left in the deck, so nine non-land cards. I think I have to trade the figment here, though, because I can't just take eight. Or not, but, you know, it's okay. Glad we drew one of our five remaining lands. What would I do without it? Honestly, we're dead to any spell kit because he could just swing out, and if there's any sort of prowess trigger, we just lose. We, we lose to a lot of things here immediately. We have to trade terrors. Oh, Phyrexian espionage. Yep, yeah, that's... Last game. I don't need to see anymore. Never once saw our negate. Although our deck was pretty decent. We did get to four wins. Uh, I have said before that I'll take four wins every single draft if I could. So uh, take one final look at the deck. We had a lot of nice... Oh no, I took the negate out. No, I had Negate in here. I just had, I was looking at this one up here. Uh, we had a lot of nice synergy with the deck. Um, yeah, just kind of a solid, like, sort of blue-white control-y deck. Maybe not as strong as our blue-black, but it was still very serviceable for what it was. Uh, Triple Terror obviously being the highlight and why we won most of the games that we won. And I did manage to get, well, one, that was the only rare in the deck, right? Yeah, most of these were commons and uncommons. One, two, three rares? Three rares and only down 100 gems and three packs. So, yeah, that's a win in my book. So for now, I'll take my leave.